am Savannah and I'm here today with Yaron Engler and I'm not exactly sure what Yaron and I are going to talk about um, but I was really inspired by the TED talk that you did Yaron and I would really, uh, I guess really what I'm interested in exploring in conversation with you um, is a little bit about personal expression and uh, the ways in which you help people to step into that through the work that you're doing. Yeah. Um... Well, personal expression is something that I feel that a lot of time is missing. Um, and I, I see that for me, um, maybe it's just easier to do it. A lot of times uh, we need to put a lot of masks in our lives. Um, and we wear a lot of different, depends who we're talking to. Even now, in the situation that we are now, we are in a conversation interview. So I'm supposed to feel important because I'm being interviewed. So I would put some kind of a mask which is not real, so I will have to kind of fake my expression. But it's really nice to kind of break these walls sometimes and to try to get to the people and to see um, the real person. And when you see the real person, get rid of all the mask. You go, get rid of all the, if I may say, bullshit, um, and you get to the, the core thing and you see how beautiful and simple things are. It's great. And I just found that for me, I probably... I don't know, I guess from the work that I did, I found that I can easily do it through the drums, um, through music, through playing. And it's a great tool also for people because playing drums is something very basic, very easy. A lot of people, again, going with the TED Talk, for me it's easy because all you have to do is to take a stick and bang a drum, or even with your hand. Everybody can do it. Now, if you want to take it to a higher level, you can, but to express yourself... If you let a kid with a drum, with sticks, a two-year-old kid will express himself or herself like a loony. It's so and true. <laughs> exactly. And Give them a, pot, a and pot and a pan and a, and a, a, yeah, a, a yeah. spoon and away they go. Totally. And so it's possible to express ourselves. The problem with music, connecting it again to the TED Talk, is that it... it Again, it's being put in masks and suddenly in order to say that you're playing music or something, it has to be smart. It has to be with some kind of a mask of intelligence and something that you know that you have earned. But what is the purpose that we're doing music at the end? For me, um, I think it's to express. And it is when you see a musician that, that you actually see the person. You don't think about the instrument. This is what I always say. For me, a musician that excites me is a musician that um, shows me their the people that show me their soul. People that just you don't think about the instrument. You don't see a saxophone player. Saxophone is a good example, for example, because saxophone is an instrument that I, for some reason, I don't love so much. I don't really connect with this instrument with its sound. But I've found a lot of musicians that I know, Ubik, a good guy from Barcelona that I know, or or I went to see a concert a few weeks ago and. You hear a person that just plays music, so they express themselves. So you don't think about a saxophone. You don't hear a saxophone. You hear a live story. You hear something very unique. And this concert that I was talking about is Brian Blade, one of the most amazing musicians in the world, I think. A drummer. Well, he's not only a drummer. He also sings. Um, he's the guy that crosses between... Um, he played in Nora Jones, in the very famous album of Nora Jones, and at the same time he plays like the heaviest, heaviest jazz stuff with Wayne Shorter. And he really crosses everything, but when you see him, it's like, it's amazing. And, and for me, this is what music is about, and, 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 and it's a great tool for self-expression, which, in my opinion, going back to the question, because I always talk too much. Um, I love what you're saying, carry on, you're, I, it's really inspiring. Back to the question, I think we have a general issue with expressing ourselves. A lot of people put masks because of the family, uh, work, because whatever. And I think um, I, love, I love breaking this wall. Mm -hmm. uh, and, I, and I've achieved doing it. And when you achieve doing it, it's really great to see a person suddenly feels the feeling of freedom. You know, that you, you just are. And you don't need anymore to pretend or to act in a certain way or do any of this thing. That's, I love it. I love to see this happening with people, especially with those who you think that it will be impossible, but mm -hmm. possible with everybody. Is there, is there anything, I know in your TED talk you have um, a lady come up on stage and, and she starts just playing with their drums. Is, is there any kind of exercise or 
um, action that somebody could try doing that would just help them begin to kind of get in touch with whatever it is that they're emoting, a way that they could express their self ex externally that you'd recommend or suggest? I, I'm sure that there, I never thought about it. It's a good question. Um, I think it's probably about finding something that you like to do and it probably, in a lot of cases of many people, it would be something that, uh, um, again, this this one little thought of like, oh, I would like to do this, but it will already come with like a big bucket of like, people have told you, no, don't do it, oh, you can't, oh, all this kind of bullshit again that we're being told. If there is something, be honest with yourself, I guess. If it's painting, if it's dancing, belly dance, if it's going to the wood and screaming and on the trees, if it's going to the beach, and look at sand and put it on your face, whatever it is, nothing, as long as you don't cause any harm to anybody, just try to do it and try to do it without any judgment, without anything. Um, we are being told constantly there are, there are rights and wrongs, rights and wrongs. In mu I'm coming from, I sit in the music, it's really easy for me to relate it to the music because Please do, yeah. it's very much like, but it's in everything. It's in every, it's, if you go out to the street, it's you should be right and wrong. There is a lot of right and wrongs. And if you just let yourself do something, you know, you want to paint, take some, take a piece of paper and do whatever, what can go wrong? You will do the line like this instead of like this, or it will be green that is a little bit darker than, you know, and, and just be, I guess it's easier probably in the beginning with some kind of, of uh, guidance and, and you, it's easy if you find someone who can help you with this. Like I found a lot of people in my career, teachers or, or people that you just talk to and you're being inspired and suddenly, ah, you know, you feel like doing it. So it's probably also to kind of smell and look around for some, this person that will help you to be yourself. I think we all need this person and we all, well, I guess if we're lucky, we have this person, more than one person, and it doesn't have to be, it can be what. Ever. And everybody can be inspiring. A lot of people tell me, oh yeah, you're an artist, blah, blah, blah. For me, I've been inspired a lot. And I like this, this example because it comes from a very, um, like totally the other side. Um, supermarket, you go to the supermarket and you can easily go to the cash point at the end when you have to, to, to pay for everything. I was inspired so many times by the people there behind the cash point that suddenly give you a smile and like tell you like the little funny comment and tells you ah, nah, ha, 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 something like this and you suddenly feel out you come out of the supermarket super happy, super inspired to be happy. And it's there are a lot of videos now coming out in, in, in on the web that you see somebody's doing something good to someone and that that someone does something good and that it's really like that. If we think a little bit more about giving. Mm -hmm. And more, uh, again, I'm sorry that I'm going all over the place. No, I, I, please express yourself. I mean, I'm really enjoying it. It's, it's something that I've noticed a lot in music, but it's not only in music. The, the concept of music, a lot of times, there is a point that we need to, um, it's about showing. If you, you play music, you have to show how good you are, how much knowledge you have, going back to the TED Talk, um, how fast you are how um, you have to show, you go on a stage, so you have spotlights on you and you have to show and you have to show. And a lot of times this is what you get. If you go and see music, you, f you see a lot of times people showing their skills. And I think a lot of times if the, if the attitude instead of I'm going to play, so I'm going to show how great I am, I'm going to go on stage and I'm going to give you something. I really want to give you something and it might be um, not perfect, it might be wrong, wrong, whatever that is, um, but this feeling of giving and it's something that I've explored a lot with students as well. If you think about instead that you have to be right, because I will give a very simple exercise to students to do tam tam ta 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 tam tam ta 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 tam tam. This, if you tell somebody to do this simple exercise, it already brings like Oh, defense mode from a lot of people because, oh, I have to do it right. Do I have to do it with the right first or with the left? A lot of analyzation. Well, all you ask is... It's not so complicated. I know that it's not the easiest thing, but it's not so complicated. So a lot of times we get into these mental storms and stuff like this. And instead of going there and to say, oh, I need to do it perfect. I need, oh, the guy next to me is doing it better. And all this kind of stuff. Instead of that, I work a lot in like, 
okay, now you have, you, after we understand what we need to do, even if it's something simple, even if we just this, everybody do this. And instead of thinking that you have to do this perfect, what is the right sound, do I have to do it loud, do I have to do it soft or whatever, just think about how you can make the other person next to you feel comfortable with this. So if they need to do the same thing or something different, how they can connect with what you do. It's a, there is a lot of communication and connection and, and you can express yourself easily if you feel comfortable. So if we are thinking about how I can make myself com comfortable, it's, I think maybe it's easier if you think about how I can make the other person next to me comfortable. And then it will bounce back in a way. Okay. Don't know if it's clear, but um, yeah, don't know. Kind of spread all over the place now. Why, why do you, out of interest, why, I mean, it kind of sounds a little bit obvious, but I'm interested in your uh, perspective in it. Why is it that personal expression is such an important thing to life, in your opinion? Um, what, what, what differs if you have a musician, for example, um, and I, I think we're using music as an analogy for life here, really, um, yeah. What what differs um, with a person who is expressing themselves or who is just being technical about it? What there is again, it's, there is no right and wrong about it. It just um, I guess because for me personally, to see um, people doing uh, physical movements um, without any anything behind it. it it can be interesting maybe for a little while, but um, I probably because I'm a very emotional person and, and I, I don't like bullshit. I really don't like bullshit. I need, if I talk to someone, I need to talk to me. You know, don't, don't like, because I, I'm very sensitive. I was always very sensitive. I don't really listen to what people say. I feel more, you know, I can enter a room and I kind of feel like it. It's kind of a blessing and a curse at the same time because it's great because you can understand what's going on. But a lot of times you see how much, sorry again about the word bullshit is happening and Sorry. and who needs that you know like and a lot of words and words are so like meaningless and stuff so for me to see somebody doing uh, again music or not music even again somebody talking but uh, there is nothing behind it's 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 such a waste of energy we live only once probably i'm not sure about that <laughs> Question. I'm not sure anybody really knows the answer to that one. Nobody knows. But why to waste the time on, on, on something that for me is a little bit meaningless? Um, it's like you want to eat food which is tasty. You don't want to eat food that is, um, will have, I don't know. Um, it's nice to have things with meaning. Um, if it's I agree. Regret, if it's, uh, if it's uh, every little thing. And to, for me, I remember a lot of times I was studying in Berkeley and I was uh, in, the, in Berkeley you have uh, the rooms, um, the rehearsal spaces, they all have a window. So you can see in, in the doors have windows so you can see inside. And I always, it's in a way I like to say that you saw a lot of dead people playing. You see people like playing and there is absolutely no expression. They either read from a page or something like this and it's all very, um, like tech, the, the body is doing something and it's a lot of understanding is 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 happening instead of um it's hard to explain like this very quickly but expression it's 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 very simple at the end and for some reason in music it it feels like to get there you have to go through all the rest but again if you take the two years it puts themselves and you will enjoy it. It will look. It probably will drive you nuts. You know, a two-year-old kid bashing the drums after a little while. You say, hey, enough, enough, enough. But it, for me, it's more interesting than watching a correct performance of somebody doing something, whatever it is, whatever the instrument is, or not instrument, not in music. Also, um, music a lot of times is compared to sport. You know, competitions and stuff. In sport, if you're faster, you're the faster, and the the point is to be the fastest. In music, sometimes yeah, there is a point of being the fastest, but it's about, there is nothing, it's very strong, I think, when the music touches us. And each one of us has this song or, or that will just crack us from inside. And, and it's an amazing feeling. And I think the way to get there is um, by just no bullshit. And, and I guess, um, I think we need it in this world to get rid of some bullshit and... and to be more real, to be more honest, to be more 
more clear because uh, I just that's what I feel. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I like that. I think I I I, I feel similar in that. Um, you know, we're here in this world, and we're all living out our lives, doing lots of different things, and, and some things. You know, I might enjoy, somebody else might not. But I think the most important thing is really connecting with people, really connecting with the people that you're around, um, because I, I, I feel it, in, it enhances your life. Um, it encourages you forward to come out of yourself. Um, and that's an exciting way to live. Um, and I think any tools that people can use to help to bring that part of themselves to the surface um a really is really really special i think that's one of the reasons i felt very inspired by the talk that you gave because it just showed how how at the surface everything is if people just yeah, move to it it's easy it's so yeah. it's there but for some i don't know why reason from childhood probably we are being told not to not to be yourself not to and what is to be yourself again, blah, blah, blah. It's a lot of philosophical, spiritual stuff, but um, we are all the same. It's all, you know, we're not uh, all the personality issues and stuff. When you see people just get rid of all the masks and all the shells, you see this simple, extremely simple, beautiful, pure thing. And it's just amazing. And it's there for everybody at any point of any day. Um. So, um, yeah, I guess uh, I'm curious about hmm, what is this thing that makes us not go there if it's so simple. I don't know the answer to that. I guess that's that's something for everybody to explore. I guess it's different for each person. Um, so, if there were... I guess this is a good time of year to be talking about this subject as well, because I guess everybody's look. You know, we've we've um, gone past two thousand and twelve, and we're all still here. Um, and you know, may, maybe now's more of a time than any to really go. Okay, it, maybe it's time to really get on and live. Um, and I hope that people will uh, maybe have a think. Uh, and take away something from this conversation that will help them take some sort of action, um, however small it might be, literally, if it's, you know, banging on the table with their fingers, um, to begin to just find a way to bring that emotion to, to the surface so that they can really um, get in touch with that and, and bring their emotions into their day-to-day -day living. Yeah. Um, have you got, I mean, I know you mentioned before about painting or whatever, but if or whatever inspires people. Um, is there is there anything you would add to that, or anything you would suggest they could do? Um, there are so many things to do in life, you know, and it's uh, not about going so for the search so much. Yeah. It's about um, when you wash your hands in the morning to one for one millisecond instead of to take it for granted just look at your hands underneath the water look at this thing your hands change their shape what is this feeling of the water if you touch your face if you look yourself in the mirror if you just sit down and eat then the first spoon of the thing that you put in your mouth instead of just shoving it in really taste it look what it tastes like smell what it tastes like when you see a person next to you try to when you're angry or when you're frustrated at people, make sure you understand that you're frustrated about yourself because it's it, you, it, and it's about being. We don't know how to be, I guess. And, and this is what I guess I feel my goal in life is, is to show people how to be. I need to be shown a lot of times and constantly I have people or situations that show me that. But... Um, it's a long process also, I think, a lot of times. I started it probably when I was in my early 20s that I suddenly understood that, hmm, being, interesting. And I think um, I usually when I do my stuff, it will be on music, but I also talk a lot about painting and cooking because these are two things that I really love doing. But it can be whatever. It can be 
folding a piece of paper. It can be folding your clothes. It can be opening your balcony and take the, the, the breath. It can be whatever it is that you want. Or it can be just going outside. That's the best thing, to go outside and to do something good for someone. To, to, to just smile at someone is to do something good at someone. These little things, as much as we hear them again and again and again, it's like it's so obvious, so easy. It doesn't matter what. That's something that I also like to talk a lot about in my in my workshops and when I meet people. It's it's not so much about the what, it's about the how. So it's about being aware. Yeah, totally. Um, and, and that's it at the end of the road. This is what it is. It's not so complicated. It's not like it requires a new video. Don't need universities and five hundred years of studying this mm -hmm. to get to another doctorate in this. You know, it's there. It's just as easy as it sounds. But we all need to get like, hey, hey, another kind of like, oh, remember, remember. remember. So, awesome. Oh, we'll give this hey, little thing to some people. A little nudge to everybody. Well, I think um, thank you so so much, Yaron. Um, Yaron, I'll say it right. Um, I I feel, uh, yeah, I personally feel from what we've just spoken about, maybe everybody uh, can take a leaf out of this conversation that we're having um, and just find one or two or three or four or five things a day, small tiny things, whether it's like you were saying, washing your hands or preparing your food or... Um, even how you brush your hair or whatever it is that you're up to that where you can really really bring yourself into that moment and feel what's happening for you in that moment and maybe that's a maybe that could even be a new year's resolution for some people maybe they can try it for a week um and make a comment in the box below and let us know how they've got on what that's changed for them um how they felt whilst they've done it um, I see that actually. Mm, I'd love, I'd love to get some feedback from people about this because I think it's a really, it's a really, really overlooked point. Um, I, I tend to do it. You were saying about cooking. I tend to do it personally. I do it with my food, um, or I do it with smells um, or oils, essential oils that I might use, or uh, textures of fabrics, or uh, they, those are things that for me that really. I will take the moment to savour it. Um, I mean, there's many other things as well, but those are things that I that really spring to mind, and that that I I feel for me is uh, part of what really keeps me engaged in life. So I'd I'd love to hear if other people go away and try this, try whatever small thing it might be, um, and give us some feedback about how that changes their day to day living. Um, Thank you. Great. Thank you so much for your time. I've really, really enjoyed speaking to you, as always. Thank you. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Yeah. And hopefully it will give the little to some people. We all need that sometimes. Yeah, definitely. And I'm going to put a link as well um, below to your website. So if people want to contact you, um, they can jump onto, onto your website. And what is your website? Same as my name, www.yaronengler.com. Thanks again, Yaron, and I will speak to you soon. Thank you very much. Bye.